We are at the Phoenix International Raceway for the third race of Season 4 of the SCR Rainbow Dash Truck Series. The number 20 of Chekka Stripal is leading us to the green flag. So beside him or her is the 50 of Cameron Hathaway. The rest of the starting lineup for today's race. All 37 trucks are here. In Season 1, New HPK won this race. In Season 2, it was Rodney Croach. And in Season 3, Evan Rudd, none of those drivers are here for this race, and we will have a first-time winner in terms of this track. So, third race of the season at Walt Disney World, Jay Jefferson won the first race of the season, which was the last race at Walt Disney World. Jefferson is starting in the 26th spot. Chaka Flairmain, who won the last round at Homestead, Miami, will be starting in the ninth spot. So, we have two rookies starting in the front row. There's Flairmain starting in ninth. Trying to become only the second driver to win back-to-back -back races. The first, Jay Jefferson. So, this will be very interesting. We got two rookies on the front row. Then we got Bob Jenkins and a former ride that has won the championship. And you guys, Eric Fitzwater, the defendant champion who actually drove that truck to a championship. Here's the command. The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like we have any problems, which is always a good thing. After Phoenix, we will go to Portland for the final time in terms of the short track. Next season, it'll be Portland, the road course. But first, we have the mile and a half here at Phoenix. There's Zachary Fitzwater Sr., our season three champion. He's in the second row on the high side, still looking for his first win of the season. 32 laps is the scheduled distance for today's race. Of course, it could be extended by way of the green-white checkered roll. Pace truck has pulled in. And we are green here at Phoenix. Stripe Pauls gets a good run going off into turn number one. See the 77 moving into second place. Trying to dive under the 20 truck. Side-by-side, side, down the back stretch. Stripe Powers goes a little bit wide, trying to get a runoff. Turn number four. But it'll be the 20 Stripe Powers that led that lap. 77 still on the inside. We'll have a run going into turn one, into turn two. Whoa, almost going three wide between the 50 and the 89. Into turn three. Into turn number four. 89 of Ryan Pritchard takes over second. Oh, we got a crash on the front stretch. 18 is destroyed. Oh, a lot of good trucks have been destroyed, and it's only lap two. Carter Joey destroyed, and the 77, he's racing it back. Bob Jenkins will lead them to the caution flag, and the rest of the field will catch back up. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. Here's the cause of caution. The 90, the 19, the 5, and the 75 are all racing four wide. The 19 of Cheka Rain Dancer slides into her sister, well, actually her mother, White Lion, and those two, car two trucks makes contact. Then here comes the 88, a lot of damage. The 18, Carter Joey gets damage. And the 44, the 2, the 3, the 7 right there. The 16, 
the 98, and the 8J Jefferson right there. Just small damage right there. Then the 22, Riley Spurley 2, then the 10, Celius Wolf also get involved. Carter Joey, nowhere to go, riding in the 27th spot. Sees the crash between mother and daughter. And let's see, Joey tries to swerve, but just not able to miss the 75 of Joshua Rush in time. And Joey is going to hit the inside wall just right there, just enough. And yeah, Muhammad Zayn Abdullah in a part-time truck. He's running for races, not for points. Gets clipped right. There, but there's no damage until right there, so he starts blowing up after the impact. So he had a mechanical just as the crash happened. 88 destroyed, 26 got damage, and we have chaos. And this is just lap number two here at Phoenix. You see the rest of the accident happening. This will take a little time to clean up, and while we clean up this mess, we will take you to our first commercial break of this race broadcast and we will return in a couple of minutes EA Sports presents Cyberdale Not having a good time? <laughs> Play the Rugrats video game instead with characters like Tommy, Chucky, even Angelica. Rugrats Search for Reptar. It's a 3D adventure and it's only on PlayStation. PlayStation. And we are back. The 18 and the 90 are both out of the race due to the events of the crash. We have Bob Jenkins as a race leader, second, Cameron Halfway, third, Ryan Pritchard, fourth, Check a Stripe Pauls. Fifth, Sarah Fitzwater Sr. Sixth is Chaka Flairmain. Seventh is Nathan Orman. Eighth is Kobe Harris. Ninth is Kristen Russell. And tenth is Ben Croach. Bob Jenkins in the number 77 unsponsored Chevrolet leads us to the green. And we're back to racing here at Phoenix. So Cameron halfway, make a little peek, but you can't pass for you to start finish line. Now you can. You see battles going on back here as the 24 and they did Ordman is being railroaded by the 15 and the 50. Or excuse me, 60. Three wide for the race lead. Here comes Ryan Pritchard. And Cameron halfway. These are all rookies, despite there being no rookie stripe. Ryan Pritchard trying to get in front. Yes, he will. So Ryan Pritchard will finish and not get a point because he does not award points. Bob Jenkins trying to take it back over second place. But Pritchard will remain the race leader. Here comes Bob Jenkins on the inside. He wants that lead back. And he takes it. Cameron Halfway is trying to go around Ryan Pritchard as well. Not enough room just yet. But Jenkins will continue lead. Here comes the 35 truck. You see Bob, I mean, you see Brock Beer trying to move up past the 20 truck. You see Jack a Snow Dancer as well. You got a big gaggle of 
drivers and battle for second continues. Cameron Hathaway trying to take over second and he will for Roush. Here comes the 35. Chaka Rain, Dan no, Flair Main, excuse me. To me, Chaka's in this field. Of course, Flair Main trying to go for her second straight win. And she will take over third. But Pritchard is fighting back. And we got drivers going three wide once again. Here comes the 60 truck of Kristen Russell making it three wide over the 26. Nathan Orman trying to make it four wide. Ooh. Okay, they settled it. Get a little bit dicey because he... Drivers know they got to race for every spot possible. Derek Edison is in the wall of the 26 truck. Off turn number four. Oh, we got a caution. Oh, it looks like the 99 of Daryl Allen has crashed. Maybe Joshua Rush was involved. Well, second caution is out. We'll take a look and see what happened to Daryl Allen in turn three. Here's the cause. Caution the 99 of Daryl Allen racing with the 43. Uh, Marcus Sachi. let's see. Oh, that looks like the 22. Vice Broly Chief got a little too aggressive coming out of the turn. Makes contact. Then makes more contact to the left fender. And Daryl Allen is going to slide up the track and nail the outside wall very hard. Oh, and Chris Kyle just got a little bit of damage on the right side of his truck. And Joshua Rush barely able to avoid on the inside line. And that is it. Yeah, we had a one truck spin in turn three. Vice Broly 2 trying to make it four wide. He tried, but Daryl Allen did come down just a little bit at the same time as Broly 2 was going up the track. Two trucks make contact. They continue to lock fenders, and Broly 2 is not going to give up that spot. Not to a rookie. And hard into the outside wall and Chris Kyle just squeak by right there that is th enough for our second caution of the day this will be a quickie one we'll clean this mess up and take you back to the restart and we are back and just before we went back to race in the 77 our race leader Bob Jenkins is blown up and it appears he has a engine failure horrible luck for Bob Jenkins Man, that team cannot catch a break. They won a championship with Jonathan Reigns, not with Zachary Fitzwater, as I mentioned earlier. Bob Jenkins will head down pit road, and unfortunately his shot of winning this race is over. So which means Cameron Halfway will be our new race leader. And we are going back racing this time, so we will stay with this. Cameron Halfway will be our new race leader. Driving for Roush Racing and that team's new entry. And you see Bob Jenkins will join the other two trucks out of the race, the 90 of Muhammad Zain Abdullah and the 18 of Carter Joey, which means we will have 34 trucks still in this race. And it was an engine failure for Bob Jenkins. So Cameron Halfway is our new race leader. Second will be Chuck Flair Main. Third will be Brock Beard. Fourth, Ryan Pritchard. Fifth will be Chaka Stripe Halls. Then Chaka Rain Dancer, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Nathan Ordman will be your top ten. And we are past the halfway mark. Horrible luck for Bob Jenkins. Pace truck pulls in. And we're back to racing here at Phoenix. Single file all the way through. We got a truck that's challenging. There we go. We got the 14. Going past the 28. That 14 is Mitchell Collins going around Jack Legacy, a former champion in this league. He won the Bush Series for Season 1. And what series are we doing next? The Bush Series. So get ready for that. You see Cheka. Flair Main is being passed by Brockbeard for second. Here comes Brockbeard on the inside line, trying to go for the race lead. Of course, Brockbeard is most famously known for writing the last car blogs. He details he finishes last in every single NASCAR race in the Cup, Xfinity, and Truck Series. 
Glad to have him back, and Brock has taken over the race lead. Brock has competed in only two seasons so far in his career. He competed in the NASCAR Legend Series for season four, and he also competed in the ARCA Series, where he drove for Wayne Peterson Motorsports. And Brock officially leads his first ever lap here in the Rainbow Dash Truck Series. That truck somewhat has a sponsorship by Easy Care on the hood. But that team is still looking for some sponsorships on the quarter panel. They do have a phone number you can contact and get sponsored if you want to sponsor Brock Beard. And Brock will lead his second lap here in the Truck Series. He's got two tough rookies behind him looking for their first career wins. Brock, of course, looking for his first career win as well. So the first three drivers have never won in this entire league. And look at this group of trucks. Sp starting with the 87, uh, Ben Croach, who has his family dominated here in season three, but not so much here in season four. Four wide. Mitchell Collins, you got Chaka Stripage, you got Ryan Pritchard, and you got the 19 of uh, Rain Dancer. Oh, they can't. Oh, they run out of room. And they crash. But it's not a big one off the final turn. Brockbeard will lead us to the caution flag once we return. We'll take a look at our third caution of the day. Here's the cause of caution. Ryan Pritchard racing hard with the 19 at Checker Rain Dancer. Both drivers looking for their first win of their career. They just run out of room. They hit the outside wall coming off of turn number two. The six got a little bit of damage, and so did Nathan Ordman right there. So did the seven of Lightning Blaze. Both car trucks smacked the outside wall. And now they're going to lose all those spots. Race, racing way too aggressively in the final laps. They were racing for 11th spot. But they were four wide with uh, the 17 of Snow Chaser and the 14 Mitchell Collins on the inside, so they couldn't go anywhere. Then another four wide. They just run out of room. Nathan Orman, a lot of damage to the right front of his truck then. Lightning Blaze climbs in, nowhere to go. And this is our third caution of the day. We'll take you to a brief commercial break, and we'll return you to the restart. many of which reached colossal size. Tyrannosaurus rex, about 70 million years ago. Its long skull was equipped with powerful jaws in which were set sharp, doubly serrated teeth. Weighing more than four metric tons and averaging 19 feet in height, This creature was believed to be one of the largest predators who ever lived on our planet. We are back for round three of the SCR Rainbow Dash Truck Series here at the Phoenix International Raceway. We have 34 trucks still in this race. All trucks are out due to, well, the 77. Of course, Bob Jenkins out due to an engine issue. Muhammad Zain Abdullah out to a broken gearbox. And Carter Joey out due to damage from his crash. Brock Beard is a race leader. Second is Cheka Stripe Hall. Third, Cameron Halfaway. Fourth, Cheka Flaremain. Fifth, Kristen Russell. Sixth is Cheka Fitzwater Sr. 
Seventh is Kobe Harris. Eighth, Derek Edison. Ninth, Ben Croach. And tenth is Mitchell Collins. We are going to restart this race with seven laps to go. Brock Beard in his third career Truck Series start, looking for his first win of his entire career. He has raced two seasons, but has never won a race. His closest was finishing third at Darlington in the NASCAR Legend Series. Checker Stripehaw is making only her fourth appearance in a race in this league, looking for win number one. Cameron Halfway in third, driving for Roush Racing, looking for his first win of the season. And fourth, you got Chaka Flairmain, who just won a homestead, looking for her second win in a row. And in fifth, you got Kristen Russell, looking for his first league win. Anything could happen over the next seven laps. We could have a first time winner, or we could have a repeat winner. We could have another caution. We could go green, white, checkered for the second race in a row. Pace truck will pull in for possibly the final time. Brock Beard needs the best restart of his career. He got a decent one. Cameron Halfaway, you can't pass for it. It's our finish line now. You can. And to turn number one. Halfaway trying to get under the 20 truck. Here comes the 35 and 60. Trying to join the party, not able to. Stripe Pauls remains in second place. You got a battle for position back there. Mitchell Collins trying to pass Derek Edison. Edison got a little damage in the second caution, but he's still going strong. Got a top 10 right now for MB Motorsports. See Christian Russell going past the 35 of Chaka Flairmain. Every position counts, even though it's only the third race of the season. Every spot, and you see Fitzwater being railroaded as well by Ben Croach, Mitchell Collins, and Derek Edison as well. Brock Beard trying to play defense. We got four laps to go. We see Cameron Halfway going for second place. And Halfway will take over second. Here comes the 60 pushing the 50 by the 20. And Russell trying to dive under the 50, and he does. It's a drag race. This is allowing Brockbeard to pull away. We have three laps to go this time by. You see Flair May making a three-wide move on the 15 of Kobe Harris and the 87 of Ben Croach. Mitchell Collins is trying to join as well. And you see Brockbeard has pulled away just a little bit. If we get a caution, we are going green-white checkered. Brockbeard is hoping that they don't. Still side by side. Brockbeard maintaining his race lead. Chris and Russell trying to slowly close in. Off the final turn. White flag one left to go for Brockbeard. Kristen Russell trying to close in. Down to backstretch for the final time. No challenge by Brockbeard. Into turn number three. Into turn number four. At the final turn, it'll be Brockbeard scoring his first career Rainbow Dash Truck Series win here at Phoenix. What a race that was, and what a historic win for Brockbeard. Here he races. That was Brockbeard scores his first career win, second, Kristen Russell, third, Chaka Stripe Pauls, fourth, Cameron Halfaway, fifth. Check of Flair Main, 6th, Mitchell Collins, 7th, Derek Edison, 8th, Ben Croach, 9th, Jack Legacy, and 10th, Kobe Harris. What a race that was. Rest of your race results. We had 34 trucks finish race on Lee Lab. Bob Jenkins out due to a blown engine. Muhammad Zane Abdullah out due to a broken gearbox. And Carter Joey out due to crash damage. 
Well, that is it for Phoenix here for the third race of the season. We'll take you to Victor Lane for the first time ever with Brock Beard. Here are your point standings after the third race of the season at Phoenix. With the win, Brock Beard is our new points leader. He has a five-point lead over Mitchell Collins. Third is Ben Croach, six points behind. Fourth is Kobe Harris, 21 points behind. And fifth is Zachary Fitzwater Sr., 34 points behind. Sixth is Daniel Bouchard. Seventh is Blaze Zipitar. Eighth is Kristen Russell. Ninth is Monica Flores. And tenth is Chaka Snowchaser. Eleventh is Chase Harris. Twelve, Jack Legacy. Thirteen, Jay Jefferson. Fourteen, Chaka Flairmain. 15th is Derek Edison, 16th is Nathan Ordman, 17th is Michael Brown, 18th is Marcus Asachi, 19th is Bob Jenkins, and 20th is Chaka Stripe Pauls. 21st, Cameron Hathaway, 22nd, Chaka White Lion, 23rd, Chris Kyle, 24th, Nick Kennedy, 25th, Carter Joey, 26th, Dylan Ibrahimin, 27th is Celius Wolf, 28th, Chaka Lightning Blaze, 29th, Simon Oskin, and 30th is Joshua Rush. 31st is Riley Spurley Tube, 32nd, Al Legacy, 33rd, Muhammad Zain Abdullah, 34th, Daryl Allen, 35th, Ryan Pritchard, 36th is Carlos Rodriguez, and 37th and last in points is Cheka Rain Dancer. That is your point standings after the third race of the season at Phoenix. We'll next see you for round number four at the Portland Speedway, and until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.